What's up, guys? So it is time for Ipsy once again. Once again, it's time for Ipsy. Um, this is the April bag. Um, and for those who don't know, I subscribe to Ipsy. I've been doing Ipsy for about almost two years, I believe. I'd have to get on and check the exact date of when I signed up. But um, for those who don't know, Ipsy is a ten dollars subscription. Uh, website and you pretty much get like five products um, of course they're sample sizes but some of them are actually like real sizes um, you go to buy it in the store but you pay ten bucks for five different things and you can try it out for me I personally like it like I always say I personally like getting sample sizes before I go out and buy a big bottle or a big product and of course with some of these these are big name brand products so they're not quite cheap or drugstore prices you know they're like 30 40 bucks or something and I'd rather try it out with a little bit than buy a big old thing and waste my money and be mad, you know. So I'm going to get right into it. Of course, as you guys know, every week I kind of open it because it's really hard to open. So I just always just pre-open it. I never actually open the bag till now. And there's this little um, Beauty Rocks Ipsy. It looks like a little, um, I forget what they're called. Mm, I forget what they're called, I'm sorry. I'll probably think of it later in a video and be like, ah! But, it's a cute little bag. Uh, I love their bags. Of course, it just has the empty emblem on the zipper. And of course, right here. But I love their bags. It, if you just subscribe, like, literally, I was like, these bags are so cute. I would probably, if I didn't like most of the products, I would probably just keep subscribing because I like the bags. Because there, there's nowhere you can find it. So, we're just gonna start pulling out stuff. And I will swatch, of course, everything for you ladies so the first product is this Kaylin and this is the tinted lip balm and this does not have a color on the bottom I take it it got lost in translation but it's pink I don't know the exact color but that's what it looks like on the inside and it's I think it's really good I do have their uh, eyeliner in purple so and I pretty I like their products this seems to be there seems to be a piece of hard part on my brush. I've never had a problem with that, but it's there. You go. Can you guys see it now? There we go. There we go. So it's a it's a really pretty pink. It's it's nice. I'm like yay. So that's that's really cute. We have to wear that one day. Just give me a little color, the color, the color we got, you know, just a little. Now we have the Urban Decay 24 hour uh, glide on eyeliner and it came in this little packaging. Velvet is the word I missed. I can't see obviously, I missed an entire word. Can you guys see this? I missed, I, I missed the whole word. So, and I know Urban Decay is being very very like high end and my mom loves this eyeliner so I think I may just give it to her um so yeah I love Urban Decay but she seems to like this so much more and somebody wants to play words with friends um and I'll swatch it for you guys and it's very black very dark very like bam so that yeah but I love Urban Decay. They're just not cheap. I think their basic pencil eyeliner is like 19, 20 bucks. Literally for a pencil that's probably just a little bit longer than this one. To me, Urban Decay is really overpriced and you can find a lot of their products, especially like their palettes. You can find a lot of them. Like I found one of their palettes at Five and Below. It was like a replica palette. Literally the same thing. And some people I've heard bad reviews that you know, Urban Decay, they don't keep tip top and all this, so it's like, yay. But on the inside, it shows like this little makeup you can do with their eyeliner, so that'd be cute. So I'll just keep hold of that right there, you know? Next in my bag of goodies is Bring the Salon Home Kiss. I don't know if that's the name of it. Looks so natural. These are eyelashes and I'm not a person who wear eyelashes so I'll probably give these to somebody who wears eyelashes I'm, I'm not an eyelash person free glue included 
one because I don't know how to put them on but these look very natural very like light they're not like the ones you see like but most times these just irritate it and they show you on the back the difference is these are theirs that flare up and then the ones that just kind of get cut at the tip and they don't really taper up so and they're pretty decent but there you go uh oh uh oh let's block, let's block out the light let's block out the light so yeah so it's pretty cool uh we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll see how this turns out and then you have lolly tint by benefit and I've heard Benefit is great. I do have their um, their real uh, mascara. I love, love that mascara. I would spend the money for that mascara. Uh, and this you can use on your cheeks. You can use on your lips. It shows you all the little things you can do. So, and this is a little sample size. I have seen, I've yet to see the big one. Um, probably because I've been, I haven't been to Ulta. I was like, I can't get this out. So it comes with this little applicator brush, almost like a paintbrush, and it's very light. I wonder if it'll show up. Nope. I guess you'd have to put on a few coats, because there's the color, like, that's all color, and then when it gets on my skin, I don't think, I don't think it like my skin. like a gloss. It's not really a color. Literally, I'm like, there it is right there. Like, it's just chunky to even get a color to show up on my skin. So I think this is probably just a nice gloss over. Because even on my lips, you can't, I guess, we're going to say okay. <laughs> but it says tint, and on the picture, it looks all purdy and colorful. So maybe it like warms up and it doesn't seem like that's happening. So yeah, benefit, mm, not working for the sisters. And then last but not least, which of course, there's always something that like I can't open just simply. I don't know whose brand it is. Oh, City Color White Gold. And this is what it looks like. It's like probably, it's just a little color pod. And of course I gotta like find some to open this week I did I can never open this and I never have any scissors close or anything like why all the scissors are on and they never close okay and I can get a little see I hate when these come out like whoa there we go oh, it's not got all of my phone can we say it Shooky now. So, that's what it looks like. It's very white gold. You guys want to see a better view? Here it is on my phone. <laughs> the little sticker thing flew off. And it is, it's more of a golden tone once it starts to like dry. When it first applies, it applies to like white and then it gets golden. So, yeah, that is very beautiful for anything. Because I think these you can use, yeah, eyeshadows, mousse eyeshadows, so that would be great as a base or just a pop of color in the corners, or even, you know, underneath the eyebrow bone, you know, you never know when you're going to need this, you know, uh, yeah. and then last but not least, of course, as always in MC, you get these cute little, um, little cards, and you can go online and they give you a discount, uh, for all the products in your bag plus 